I think we had enough discussion on function. How do we create it? How do we call it? How do you pass parameters? In fact, we have also seen how do you pass a function to a function? And then I'm saying, let's talk more. So basically, there's a concept called anonymous function. And when I say anonymous function, it's a function without a name. And the question is why someone will create a function without a name? So let's try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. And basically to achieve anonymous function, we use a keyword there called Lambda. So we got this file called Lambda demo. And in this file, I'm going to do one thing. So I want a result for a particular operation. So let's say the operation which I want to do is some function or uh, func as a function. And in this, I'm going to pass a value which is five. And now what I'm expecting from this function is to return the square of it. And we have talked about square before. So we know the formula, we know the stuff. It's just that I want to make it work. So we have to say result equal to function uh, or the func is a function which takes the parameter five or the value five, and then it should return. And I'm going to print that stuff here. And I want to remove this space because we are going to write a lot of code. So let's have some space there. So we got this function or func as a function name and it should work. And the answer is it will not work. Uh, so we have to create a function, right? We don't have a choice. So we'll say def func, which will take a, you know, it's difficult to pronounce func every time. I don't want to mispronounce it. So I will say num. And so let's say that's a fun as a function. And I want to return num into num. Simple stuff. This will work, hopefully. So I'm going to say Python lambda demo dot py enter. And you can see we got 25. Now this is a normal function. But then there are certain scenarios where you want a function, but then that should be in a temporary basis. Maybe you don't want to use that function again. Second, if you only have one expression in a function, then why to create a function which takes two lines? Can we just do that in one line? I'm not asking you to put something like this. Uh, again, this doesn't look good. I'm not sure if this thing even work. Never tried it. It works, but it doesn't look good. Uh, so if you want to do the same thing, there should be a better way. And that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this. See, in a function, what is important? You will say name? Uh, not exactly. Uh, what is important in a function is the expression or the things which you do inside a function, right? Name can be anything. And also, if you want to pass a value, that particular parameter be also becomes important, right? So the value and the expression or whatever operation you're doing, that is important. Then why you are doing in two lines? You can do that in one line, something like this. So let's say I'm going to create a function called fun is equal to, this is how you can create. Okay, first of all, before I talk about it, I want to show you one more thing just to build that or fill that gap in between. Uh, we have seen in the higher order function that you can pass a function like square to a function, right? So operate function is taking the square as a parameter, right? So if you can assign, if you can pass a function, you can also assign a function. Example, if I say square equal to fun, will it work? Yes. So fun is a function, but you can assign to a square, which also becomes a function now. And instead of using fun, you can use square. Okay, that perfectly works. And that's the proof. Okay, uh, so you can assign a function. That's what I wanted to show you. But I will go back to fun again. And here, let's say fun is equal to, so I will just comment the above code. And here, I want to say fun. Now see what is important is the parameter and the expression, right? So what you can do is you can say, this is my parameter. And on that parameter, I want to perform some expression and my job is done. Now this expression can be anything, okay? It should return something so that you can, or maybe whatever you want to do basically, uh, normally we return. So uh, you can say num colon num into num. This is your function, okay? And you will say this is not working. I can see errors. No, uh, basically what you have to do is to make it work, you have to use a keyword called lambda. Okay, this is called a lambda function or you can say anonymous function. Why we are saying anonymous is because this part, we don't have a name to it. Then we are assigning to fun, then you get, get a name, but by default you, get a, you don't have a name for it. And in the upcoming videos where we are going to use this, we're not going to assign it to a function. We are directly going to use it. Okay, so you will see that in the upcoming videos. But... This is an anonymous function because we don't have a name for it. So this is a function where this is the parameter for the function and this is the expression for the function.
and will this work so let's run this and it works and trust me i have saved the file and i'm getting the output you if you still don't trust me you can try this code by yourself and if it is not working it's your mistake you have done some mistake in the code I don't want to take the blame of anything. Okay, so this is how it's working, right? If you are still confused what type kind of expression you can put here, let, let's go for one more example. So let's say here, I'm going to say result two is equal to, I'm going to create an add function, which will take two parameters or two arguments, which is four and five. And then here, I'm going to print the result. So I will say result two, uh, simple stuff. But then we don't have this function. Now, the first thing which will come to your mind is, Hey, Naveen, you have to create a function called add, which will take two parameters, let's say A and B, and then this is going to return A plus B, right? And then there's no complaint from the IDE. And also, if I run this, there's no complaint. It says it is printing nine, no problem there. But again, we are using two lines. Can we do that in one line? Let's try. So maybe I can just do that here itself. I can say add equal to lambda, because that's we know. Now we got two parameters, right? So we can say A comma B. So it's not like you can only use one parameter. You can use multiple parameters, A comma B, colon, and then just give the expression. No return keyword, nothing, just the expression, and this will work. And that's the proof. Okay, so this, my friend, is Lambda, and this is also anonymous function. <laughs>